Okay, here we go. Take four of my first commentary in about seven months on Call of Duty. Hi, my name's Dan, and this is my first commentary on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022. I think I've said that so many times now. Anyway, I've held off doing a video for a while. Well, about seven months, but I've held off doing a video on this game for a while because I wanted to get a feel for the game, and I've got a day or so played in the game and overall I do enjoy the game it's a lot more fun to play the game with friends than it is to play on your own because of the skill based matchmaking but every now and then it seems to I don't know for example I didn't play this game for a few days and then when I got on which is what this gameplay you're seeing which was from yesterday I had like four or five games where I just had really high kills and people weren't jumping and bunny hopping all over the place. And then after those few games, everyone was jumping and bunny hopping all over the place like their life depended on it and it is some tournament or whatever. You know, but I've realised I'm an older person, I'm I'm I've been playing this game for since Call of Duty two. So what's that? Fourteen, fifteen years, I've been playing it a long time. I've realised that, you know, K D doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun with the game, that matters. And if you're not having fun with the game, I generally stop. Or I, I'll take a break for a little while and play something else. Or or just take a break and have a drink or whatever. You know you know what I'm saying. Just take a break. But overall, I think the game is actually... It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. The things I like, I think the guns are really good. I think the maps are actually pretty good. There's a couple of shittier maps in there. But I think overall, the, gun, the, the maps are not too bad. Um, I don't know why they brought back Shoot House. I don't think it's one of the better maps that they've had. I don't know why they don't bring back some of the old uh, 2009 Modern Warfare 2 maps that they said they were going to bring back rather than bring back this and then shipment is going to come like next week or whenever it's going to come. But overall, I like the guns. I think the class setup is terrible. I think the... Um, perk system is something unnecessary that never needs to happen I think the way you get your perks is stupid I think that you can't if you want to be off the radar and have ghosts you've got to wait for five minutes or maybe less if you get loads of kills I like the fact that you can choose whether you want to have score streaks or kill streaks I think the menus are absolutely rubbish I think Warzone is poo um, I think the map of Warzone is actually really good, but I just think the general gameplay, and I've only played on my own, I just think that the, and it's not for me, I'm not a Battle Royale person, I just think it's really, really boring. But overall, I think the guns are good. Um, the customization, I think, is a little bit over the top. I don't think you need all that customization. I wish I'd go back to how it used to be, but you just pick a gun, you pick an attachment. If you want another attachment, you have to use a perk for it. I think that'd be good. Bring back fucking pro perks. Why are we not bringing back pro perks? That's something that was really good in Modern Warfare 2. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd like him to bring back specials for Modern Warfare 3 personally, because I absolutely love that. Um, I think the kill streaks are okay. I don't think there's anything special in there. I mean, Chopper Gun is pretty decent. I've had that a few times. Um, but probably the most powerful perk or powerful uh, score streak or kill streak in the whole game is a UAV. I mean, I've not used counter UAV, but I think that's probably the, the best one in the game. I think the game would be a lot more fun if the, the skill wedge matchmaking was toned down to how it used to be back in the day. And that's not because I want to have games where I just absolutely destroy people, but it's, it's sometimes nice to have a mixed bag of people where you get a team or a couple of players that are better than you and they destroy you and then you can play them again. And that's the whole point of you know the lobby staying together. And I've had it a few times where the lobbies have stayed together, but it doesn't happen nowhere near as much as it should do. Because in a game like this, especially now, is that there's a lot more trash talking like it was back in the day, which is quite fun to hear. I mean, I don't use my mic because a lot of time I'm playing on my own. If I am playing with other people, well, like friends, and I'm talking to them, I'm not talking to the people in the lobby. But it is fun to hear these people giving each other a bit of banter, a bit of stick. And it kind of gives you those old school kind of vibes that you, if you played the old Modern Warfare 2 from 2019, it's, it's very similar to that. And even the other games like Black Ops 2 and more than one for free but on the whole I think the game is is pretty decent I just think it needs 
a little bit of work. The menus is probably, and going through and doing your camos and stuff like that, is probably some of the worst that I've ever seen. I don't know why they're trying to change things that do not need to be changed. I know everyone wants thing. I know people in the community want Call of Duty to change and be something different than it is. But I go back to FIFA, like I've said before. FIFA remains the same each time. They might change small things, and maybe that's what they need to concentrate on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back really soon. Cheers.